Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to start today new topic from respiratory system series that is pleural effusion. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned till the end because you are going to experience some new stuff in this video. So without delaying, here we go. So pleural effusion. It is the accumulation of excess fluid in pleural space. Pleural space is the space that lies between parietal layer that is outer layer and visceral layer that is inner layer. You can see this fluid accumulated. You can remember this by mnemonic IV operation. I for inner layer. I for inner layer, V for visceral, that is inner visceral layer, O for outer, P for parietal, that is outer parietal, inner visceral, outer parietal. Protein concentration less than 3 gram percent is called as transudative effusion whereas more than 3 gram percent you can call it as exudative effusion. Pus in the pleural cavity is called as empyema, blood, hemothorax, whereas chyle, chylothorax. Chyle is the milky fluid. It consists of fats and lymph and is produced during digestion. Etiology of Pleural Effusion There are two causes exudative as well as transudative. We have discussed here exudative causes. You must have seen the movie Sarda Ruddham Singh. It is very popular Bollywood movie. So S A R D A R U D H A M S for SLE in SLE you can see here this character has got a butterfly rash on his face A for acute pancreatitis R for rheumatoid arthritis see beautifully in this diagram drug induced Acute rheumatic fever, ruptured liver abscess, tumor, Dressler syndrome. So, what is Dressler syndrome? Inflammation of pericardium, that is the layer of heart, outer layer of heart, pericarditis. H for hyperstimulation of ovary. That is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome OHSS, autoimmune conditions and MIG syndrome. MIG syndrome consists of triad of three conditions pleural effusion, ascites and ovarian tumor. Symptoms. Patient can be either asymptomatic or he may experience breathlessness. Signs Decreased chest expansion, stony dullness, egophony, decreased breath sounds, and decreased vocal resonance, tachycardia. So, what is egophony? Egophony is the change in sound from E to A. Let's say, ask the patient to say E and you listen to the chest sound using stethoscope. In patient with normal lungs, you hear the same sound E. But if there is consolidation of lungs, you get A sound. So you can remember these signs and symptoms using A, B, 
C D E ओके यू कैन सी अ ब्यूटीफुल डायग्राम हियर दिस इज द प्लूरा दिस इज द फ्लूड एक्यूमुलेटेड इन योर लंग्स दैट इज प्लूरल इफ्यूजन दिस फ्लूड कंप्रेसेस द पार्ट ऑफ लंग सो लंग बिकम्स कोलैप्स्ड और कंप्रेस्ड now lights criteria lights criteria is important for your university exams actually the topics on which i make videos are very hot topics of university exams any of this can be asked in your exams so be prepared a pleural fluid protein upon serum protein should be more than 0.5 pleural fluid ldh upon serum ldh more than 0.6 pleural fluid ldh more than 2 by 3 of upper limit of normal serum ldh so this is the lights criteria now investigations chest x ray is the best initial investigation USG best investigation of all third pleural fluid aspiration and analysis you can remember this by C U F or C U P next finally treatment thoracocentesis in thoracocentesis we aspirate the fluid in the lungs and is collected in this bag patient is made to sit and lie on a table like this thoracostomy third pleurodesis in pleurodesis talcum powder or doxycycline these are the surfactants to be used these are poured into your pleural cavity you can use this surfactants or surgical abrasion can be done any of the two fourth pleural decortication that is removal of affected pleura finally treatment pneumonic t T P P T for thoracocentesis, T for thoracostomy, P for pleurodesis, P for pleural decortication. So thank you guys. You must have liked today's video. Do let me know in the comment section.